all right i think it's a very hot uh, topic right now which is the better yami in the game blue yami or red yami now red yami is just my favorite but i'm gonna look at this from an objective standpoint and go over pve farming hall of illusions single target pvp attack pvp defense who's more worth and who is overall better now it's going to take into account a lot of things but let's just kind of get started so let's talk about their kits first red yami um he has a uh, aoe skill one that applies bleed on all enemies if he crits a very high skill one aoe multiplier overall if we look at it it was a base of 60 for the aoe multiplier and if we compare that to raya's skill one um raya skill one the multiplier is 50 so it's already higher let me just make sure does it scale higher no it does not so yami's overall especially since it was buffed for the extra five percent does better there and if we compare it to noel's also it is actually going to scale about the same it is i think one or two percent higher than the summer noel's um aoe skill one so, so that's already looking good now skill two stuns if there's a bleed on the enemy he's able to basically choose because if he crits it's an aoe bleed right so he gets to choose who he's gonna stun and he does more damage against bosses alongside his uh do passive which does more bosses which i do not like personally and then he grants 10 percent increased crit damage for two turns for each dlt which i think is kind of wild then the alt increases his crit rate for two turns so best order is probably like alt the person you want to bleed then skill two right i think this might be the best if not you're gonna like alt uh aoe then skill two if you can and this also does apply a bleed too right very high scaling and looking pretty good now this is a very nice increase of uh, crit damage now as for his uh dupes overall pretty worthless penetration is nice accuracy could start uh, could like penetrate basically through about 30 percent of uh their like blocking ba well basically could do an up to an extra of 30% damage, but most likely won't, and it's not guaranteed. So to me, accuracy is like a worse crit rate, like a worse crit stat, basically. And penetration is pretty decent. Um, it's just that there's no one that really buffs penetration to really scale off of this, right? So I don't think that... Right now, uh, it's looking the best, but when... Um, actually, I guess... Does Voltos... Am I tripping? Does Voltos increase penetration? no i think it was gauche yeah it was gauche so when ghost comes out um i think that the penetration uh stats increase would be good but as for his dupe um it gives increased damage dealt against bosses which i'm not the biggest fan of i, I they could have easily just been increased damage dealt period but no they couldn't do that now except for that he's looking pretty good except for him being a red unit now if we go to blue yami um he has basically all attack increase on skill one it's a single target aoe which blocks hp recovery gives him sp plus two and let's take this off and then put it back on <clears throat> so this is going to basically make it so that he only gets the sp plus one and blocks hp recovery which the hp recovery block to me is very nice now except for that um removes the debuff with the skill two uh, with the skill page and then if he does remove the debuff increases his damage though i didn't talk about it but uh, the skill page does add the increased crit damage uh, so I should have mentioned that. Um, now the alt does remo uh, reduce your skill, point skill points by 3. Applies total silence so they can use special skill and skill 2. And his AoE multiplier uh, or alt multiplier isn't that crazy. It's 190 compared to Yami's 240. But he does reduce skill points by uh, 4 of whoever he hits. So if he's going to attack before someone and he knows like, oh shit, Rod Assault is crazy. Let me attack first. Or like, oh wait, let me make sure so that, let me make sure that Asta cannot attack or uh, cannot do his um alt or skill two which is insane right um i think that is one of the best cases where like you want to stop someone from using their crazy abilities and the perfect person is against asta because not only is he blue so it's either that asta is going to die or he's going to have his sp reduced plus also be total silent so i think like you uh in terms of like extra like uh, niche abilities it's very nice now his passives are better grants increased favor damage which means he's doing even more against blue unit uh, against red units even not well not even counting like him being type uh, advantage it's doing an extra 15 percent then he does uh, damage dealt five percent or ten percent at max dupe and his uh actual um stats are much better 20 percent total crit damage Plus um, full attack, so up to 1,600, where Yami was um, 375. So honestly, like for stats-wise, for attack, it is uh, kind of crazier, if I'm going to be honest, just looking at it. But you do get the crit damage on blue Yami, which is a bit weird because Yami is the crit unit. 
I I don't know, man. They like this is just so weird. It could have been like crit rate, or it could have been something else. They could have given him stats on for crit stats in dupe. I don't get it. Now, anyway, let's start talking about in every single type of mode. So PVE farming, Ready Ami is just the guy. He's he's just amazing. He has a skill one that could just be spammed. All you do is you make it so that you don't use anything else. He spams skill one, and with Charlotte, this is insane. If he kills one unit. Then he's just gonna go on a rampage. One unit that has a mark, and this guy goes on a rampage, right? Um, if you want more information on Charlotte, go check out the Charlotte video. But yeah, no, he's gonna be insane for PVE farming. I think that this AoE is insane. As for Hall of Illusions, he's also way better. You can see my Raya um, Hall of Illusions clear level 80 that he cl he clutches because we get the guaranteed uh stuns thanks to the bleed. So you get you apply bleed. Right, and then you stun guaranteed, and his single target damage against bosses is insane. So I guess I can appreciate that he does extra damage when it comes to Hall of Illusions. But except for Hall of Illusions, especially for PvP, it kind of sucks. But for Hall of Illusions specifically, this guy goes crazy, especially because I have a max duped. So yeah, no, Yami for uh, Hall of Illusions is just probably one of the most wild units ever. Same thing goes for single target. Um, because of his multipliers going up to 240%, he's just crazy. This too, getting the uh, increased crit damage when you have the skill page on is nice. Where Blue Yami becomes more of a debuffer, this guy just becomes an insane damage dealer when he has this on. Just everything. Increased damage against bosses, right? Single target, and then increased crit damage. Um, I think this guy is just going to be quite nice, right? Quite, quite nice. Um, there's not really much to complain about single target. As for PvP attack, I kind of believe red yami is better um red yami for pvp attack um is gonna be really good because of the teams you could build and how the bots are stupid and you want to build you like no matter what you're putting him with william right i think that william is just his perfect partner um same thing like he's good with pretty much every dps in the game right now if we really look at it um good with red yami good with red asta good with blue yami good with jack right um it's just like kind of insane uh, and even in the future, good with, good with Raya, good with Kyoto, even good with any other DPS because of his speed. But anyway, where was I? So um, yeah, as for um, PvP attack, because the bots are stupid, he's going to be better. I'm going to be more safe because counters are just the way. How many AoEs you could spam is just insane. And you're able to choose. And I think that just being able to choose like makes Red Yami much better because you're able to fight teams that are good for him. Whereas Blue Yami doesn't really have any teams that he's like excelling at. I think that he does do really good damage against Red Units. And so to me, it is a very close uh, tie. But because you're able to get guaranteed stuns with this Red Yami, Yami, I think that it just kind of scales him up so much higher. But Blue Yami is kind of just as good right now. Um, as for PvP defense, Blue Yami all the way. Because Red Yami um, could easily be killed by Blue Yami, right? So you do not want to have this Red Yami there. Because obviously also his stats are just lower. Like if we're looking at my level 95 geared up um, Red Yami to my... Um, level 80 non really geared up one he has almost as much hp and more defense right so this guy is more defensive just in general he's not very defensive this yami and it doesn't help that this blue yami has the increased favorite damage plus also a good passive here so i'd say that against blue yami it is very scary is it the same voice line it isn't Okay, anyway, um, very little thing that I just realized. So, yeah, you do not want to use this guy in defense unless you're, like, really high up and you could definitely tank. Because right now, the thing is, I got all of his talents. I decided to give him the full defense, so, like, when people attack me, they can't. Plus, the William block does help him out, and I made it so that these two are not, uh, or, sorry, I made it so that they are together, so that they either taunt or reduce all attack. So, like, if you could kind of guarantee that Red Yami doesn't get hit in the way that I am, where he blocks... They do their uh, combo together, which reduces all attack, taunts, and then for him, um, it reduces speed. It's kind of an insane debuff, right? Does it get a guaranteed all attack increase? Yeah, so it's just insane, right? Having these two together. So Red Yami in those cases is fine, especially because not many people have the extra defense right now or are building up talent. So I do have that extra edge. Plus, I gave him some defense because I do think he does need it. So overall, that's kind of why um, I do believe... Blue Yami in terms of defense is better because Blue Yami does like destroy red units if you can. Like you're going to see or like you haven't really because I don't really lose too much. I think I've lost a bit. But in my videos, I think sometimes Red Yami does die in the Red Yami showcase video. But I still win because of these guys. But 
Red Yami does die because of how low his HP is in general, and also just considering that um, he's red. Doesn't help, right? It does not help at all. Him being red against a insane, like, blue Yami with this increased favor damage just is kind of toxic. I'm not going to lie. And especially for the future when Fauna comes out, I think she also has the increased favor damage. He's not going to live, right? He's not going to live in defense. You want to make sure to choose your battles well. Now, as for who's more worth, though, bit of a different story. Blue Yami is definitely more worth considering his banner that he's on and how you do want for most people Mimosa and the Red Asta. Just insane for raids, right? Um, also, PV PvP, especially when you max dupe him. He's on this banner. You could get him for free, which doesn't make him better in that way. And also, right now, the only uh, SSR or like good unit that helps make this blue gear stage uh, very easy or red gear stage that you use blue units on. I'd say that this is probably the best team on launch and when Fauna does come out, probably in a month though, that's the thing. So Blue Yami's gonna have more time to shine in this because Fauna then replaces him completely for this. But right now, he is definitely the most worth in terms of getting to farm the power dungeons in both dungeon and then talents. You should not be doing the city district, but anyway. Um, definitely more worth is Blue Yami because of the fact. Um, I feel like Red Yami is definitely good for that, but then you have like Red Asta already with Charlotte is already enough. And then in the future, um, I feel like uh, we're going to have Noel, right? So there's stuff like that that does count. But I think more worth for right now specifically is Blue Yami just because you want to farm the blue st or like the red stage first. Why? Um, because of the fact of the gear sets you get. Speed, defense, and attack. Those three sets right away could make it like could just be someone set. That's it. That's for now. That's all you need. Of course, in the future, crit penetration and crit, or crit damage and pen would be just bad, better. But right now, these three are insane. Like these three easily become one. And then here, what HP on a DPS accuracy? I just hate accuracy. I'm just saying crit like non upgraded ones. Like I just like I don't think these are the greatest. And then do they even have crit defense? Which one has crit defense? And then like crit defense one. It's like come on. It's just not the same. These have three valuable ones. Some for tanks, some for DPS, some for supports. And then DPS could also have speed. So it's just way more worth. That makes kind of Blue Yami better. Where green, you should not be farming it right now. I don't I don't see a need. Especially because it's probably the worst one out of the three talents. That you would not... Like the least important in my eyes. Um, getting the blocking and the extra SP compared to actually tanking and actually doing damage is... Um, quite different so i'd say more worth is uh blue yami but overall better at least for the future wise red yami i think red yami is better and i kind of underestimated him for my tier list but to be fair to be fair i think that in my tier list it was more so for the gear stage that i was mentioning him but this red yami i forgot how good he was on launch man i love this red yami bro but it does suck sometimes when you actually just get murked by uh blue yami but Thank God the team itself is good and I know how to play better now. So I will make sure that doesn't happen. So yeah, let me know. Who do you guys prefer? Who do you guys think is better? Blue Yami or Red Yami?